Hey! <laughs> yeah, and they, they seem to be ripping off people since. Since. Uh, 62 points? 66 terabytes. So what's the gist here with them, anyway? It's like the work people put into these avatars that... Yeah, I mean, I've I've worked on some avatars and, you know, I don't have much experience, but I can tell you it's a grueling, very difficult, long process. <laughs> but their minds, they think, oh, it's not, it's a simple process. No, it's not. Well, they let you do all the work and then they steal it and then tout it as their own or sell it, you know? Yeah. It's disgusting. Which it's is, absolutely disgusting. Which is copyright. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. It makes me sick. And I'm sick of these stupid people coming into to VRC and absolutely just sticking a gun in your ribs and taking all your shit, you know? It's horrible. Like, are you fine if I'm recording this? No, no. I just yeah, want to get fine. your permission first because I don't want to end up recording. You know? No, it's good that we're bringing this type of stuff yeah. up. I mean, it's like... It's like, this is because just this a, is a serious problem. problem. Have they this not learned the copyright law in yeah. school? No, this is just somebody who's gotten away with it for a long time and no one said anything. So he's, you know, he's taking it as a free pass and he's just, you know, probably making money over hand and fist. Making tons of money. Probably ripping on I mean, people. If you know anything about assets and 3D assets, I mean, it's big money. Big business, big money. Yeah, it's, it's like big. You can basically, with avatar ripping, you can make big money. Even in I can, thousands. I can tell you for certain that some of the avatars I've seen on that his website there, the Ripper store, those avatars exceed $400. To the people who originally commissioned those avatars. Yeah. And, like, I mean, that makes you think. Tell that took a long time right there. Yeah. That one, that took a long time. I would love, I'd love to know if that, what if you, um, of it. If you type in Riz, you'll probably find him on there too. He's the guy who actually invented the, the Rex. Yeah, it was him. Retium. Wait for yeah. a sec, are they ripping off public avatars now? Yeah, they're ripping everything. <laughs> they're taking everything. I feel like this needs to be, like, brought to the public, because this guy's in the way with it a long time yeah. if you go to their... Where is it? Statistics? Yeah, I mean, from what I could dig up on Twitter and stuff, he's been operating well before 2020. Yeah. Probably in 2000. When was the game out? Um, 2017 is when VR Chat first came out. So you're telling me he so. has about, let's see, store public avatars, 1 million. Private avatars, which is like private, like, to mm -hmm. the creator. You're telling me he has more? But yeah, he has 62.66 terabytes of both stores of avatars. Yeah. Pro probably even more at this point. But I checked his client area. Mm hmm. And this it's is the other thing that really frosts my cookies because you know he's he's charging people money so he could potentially be ripping off people scamming so what type of money he doesn't really say what type of money he is because he wants you to go through his discord yeah so he, he doesn't have any email contact information everything is routed through his sketchy discord account yeah his sketchy one 
And he also has, what was it, five accounts on VR chat? Yeah, I think he has that much. We should actually show a screenshot of that too, just so people know who to look out for. Yeah. Let's see. Because this is a public information message right now. Yeah. <laughs> This is just, I don't know. I've, I've just seen so many people that I know yeah, these on this are, website. Yeah, these are about, I think these are bots going around. Going around like ripping off avatars. They're either bots or he has like a whole crew working for him. But from what I could see, they sign on, sign off, sign on, sign off. Like at really unusual intervals and periods of time. Like, five seconds on, five seconds off, ten seconds on, ten seconds off. I don't yeah. know what the... why it does that, but... Yeah. But... But this like individual is... One, two, three, four. Four accounts operating. I'm actually counting five. Five? Yeah. Spades the so, question, is he using bot accounts? Yeah. Like, He's doing something sketchy as shit, and people need to really pay attention to this and stomp this little cockroach into the ground. <laughs> Ripper Store, listen, we're coming for you. <laughs> we're putting this out as a public announcement, you know, just to make people aware that this, this can happen from time to time information and stuff is out there you know under someone who's malicious has malicious intentions you know yeah or who's trying to sell your avatar your character that you paid good money for and that some artist worked his ass off to give you and make and some scumbag like this comes out of left field and is like oh thanks for the free stuff and then just takes it from you and doesn't then he sells ask. it doesn't ask it's unbelievable. Like, if he it's was like, asked me to do, a, like, a public avatar, like, a private avatar for him, I would do it. Just ask me. See? <laughs> There's people who know the point you in the right direction of a, uh, of a avatar maker. Like, do we search up... Who can we search up on here to prove this ain't fake? It's like, you know, I don't like calling people out or anything. You know, I hate being that guy who's like, you know, but I had to call out VR chat on this one because yeah. this is just a total lax in security. This is just looking the other way. This is just lazy. And it, it's sad. And it's just, come on, VRC. Like, it's like VR chat. You're the number one virtual reality, you know, platform. game out there. Platform. You're number one in in the firing line. You know, you've done a lot of great for people. You are a really good site and everything, but the security is just you got to work on that because it is just you are failing. And I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to be harsh, but you are failing. Yeah. And you have to do better. Did you know VR chat servers are on two to one core? Who doesn't even utilize all cores? <laughs> yeah. That's the it's thing. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick. I know they can be very sensitive about criticism or anything. It's, oh my I'm gosh, telling them, criticism? Uh, yeah, I'm telling them this because I want them to improve and I want them to become better. I want them to to grow as an application. And what just, when, when you see something like this that's just going on and going on and it keeps happening and it's happening again then it happens again and it's just in you know vr chat you have to do better you, you just have to do better and i know you can do better but you have to get up off your ass and you have to address these security Stop concerns ripping the awards of vr chat plus because it ain't working And it's like you, you, go after the, you go after the modding community and it's like that's not really that's not really what you should be doing because <laughs> he just alienated like 90% of your player base you know it's it like not, not, everyone who uses, well. not everybody who uses mods is malicious 
Not everybody. No. It's just scumbags like this, um... Like this guy Ripper over store. here. Mr. Ripper Store here. Now, scumbags like this, they deserve to be... You scumbag you know, Steve. Clubbed with a blunt object of some kind, you know? Because they're just, they're scum. They're bottom feeders, these people. Yeah. And like, the fact like... that someone like this or this individual is allowed to be on this platform and continue what he's doing over and over again and no one says anything or acts on any of this information that we have right here. It's like, file that report with Cloudfair and, yeah. and take this website down because this is the most egregious, blatant copyright infringement, um, intellectual property theft, art theft that I've ever seen. They're not even under copyright. Yeah, that copyright is fake. I looked it up with the uh, copyright uh, catalog, and nothing comes up under the that. They always he so thinks he's smart with getting away with it's, this. It's fake. It's all fake. All the links too for They're Facebook, fake. Twitter. Like if I press this link, they don't work. As you can hear, it's I'm fake. pressing nothing. Not the only the way to get in contact with this sketchy individual is through his Discord account, which we we right can show right here. Right here. And Don't he mess screams, him. spam him. He screens um his yeah. his calls too. He screens who he talks to. It's as sketchy as it gets. Like the and this website is is really sketchy too. It, it's very um. You can tell it's got like that cheap polish on it. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah. You can tell that it's just crap. <laughs> it's got all the try. flash. It's got all the flash on it, like the the bang, the flash and the bang, and it's like, ooh, it's bright. Oh, it's got videos and it's got this and that. And... But what I find interesting is it doesn't mention how you pay for things. It just yeah, it never has like a credit. It. it has a credit system. So what does that like, mean? Let me see. This is all it has. Yeah, and what the avatar ID is, that's what avatar you want to rip, essentially. So you go through his catalog here on Ripper Store, and each avatar has like an ID number, I guess, that with it. And I think you put in the avatar ID that you want to rip. I think that's what that means. Yeah, the avatar ID. But I'm particularly pissed off about this because I had a friend who uh, was a VR chat player, avid VR chat player, and he passed away last year. And his avatar is up there and all the assets for it, and that's really pissing me off. It's like, I see that and it just pisses me off. Because now you're crossing even more lines <laughs> with me. That's just... I'm just angry. Yeah. Because this is the most blatant robbery I've ever seen. It's pathetic. Like... And this just cannot go on. This is it has gone on for too long. It can't go on any longer. Crush this person into the dust. Yeah. And make an example of him. If you start making examples of people like this, then the the activity will slow down, but potentially stop. It's like a, it's like sad that VR chat plus can't do anything, so we have to take it into our own hands. Well, yeah, I mean not necessarily our own hands. That's more like vigilantism. But yeah, uh, if you file a report with um with Wayfair, there is actually a form that you can file uh, for, I think it's a DMCA takedown. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, I highly recommend that. I think you can, do you still have the link for that, that we could show on screen? The link? Yeah. For like, just so people will have a link. Actually, we could include it in the description. Yeah, we could. With the video. Link will be in the description below. This but is just, yeah, guys, this is just we, disgusting. It's like I know uh, some of us as VR chat players don't get along with each other. I know sometimes we absolutely despise each other, 
But this is something I think we have to take a stand on as a people, as a group. Because if we don't stand up and crush these people into the dirt, you know, they're just going to keep screwing us over. And VR chat's not going to help us out. <laughs> they've already, they've already, you know, picked what side they want to be on. The side of don't get involved. We got a good thing going here. They're like you know, that so what are we supposed to do? Broken into and doesn't, so, and covers up in the news. It's just like, you know, if, if we had to do it, then I guess we have to file ourselves and do our own DMCA takedown with, with Wayfair. And uh, po potentially the uh, United States Copyright Office, too. <laughs> I think you can file a complaint there as well on the copyright because it's a fake copyright. I I'd assume that's illegal, too. You can't just make a copyright and say it's it's yours if it's not even registered. Those are things that are registered through uh, the government. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my spiel, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but to be honest, this is really... What the but I, I say? You know, I just don't like seeing my friends' pictures up there and yeah. all their assets and all their, their data and the things they've worked so hard to build. I know a couple people on there, they work their butts off making these models, these avatars, and they love these characters, and I love these characters. You know, like this is this is super important stuff to a lot of people. And it's just, you know, these people are being robbed of their work and their pride. And, uh, you know, it's just it's disgusting. It's like Avatar I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Yeah, I've worked with avatars and I've built a couple different worlds, not only on VRC, but in a, another certain virtual reality program <laughs> we will we won't say the name because it is he who shan't be named yes but i built an entire world there and let me tell you 3d anything you work with anything in 3d it, everything takes a month and a day to do nothing is done overnight it is an absolute nightmare <laughs> to work with some of this stuff you know I have a friend who's building the world and he's been working on this thing, working on this thing endlessly. He's, he's been like working himself to the bone on this world. And you know, that world's probably up here too on the Ripper store right now. I know his world's on there cause we saw it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So this is a mutual friend of ours. Yes. And his world is, is also up on this website. And he worked very hard on this world. And he was very proud of this world, too. And it just it sucks seeing some jerk, you know, ripping it and just profiting off something he didn't build at all. He didn't build himself nothing. He didn't build it. He didn't do shit. <laughs> like in... It's disgusting. Like in it's my like, game, we basically, if we didn't do server, we basically take people's HTML. It's basically the thing because we didn't, we worked hard on it, but, you know. Yeah. That'd be like if I walked into your, your room, Hex, and went up to your computer and just stole all your code, like, that you were writing, and then just said, oh, yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> then I started selling it for, like, you know, a couple grand. You know? Not even give immediate to the profits. And it's just uh it's like an it's I I don't know if it's just something we don't talk about much or as like a group on VRC or or as a, a community here on VRC or but I just don't get why we can't all get on the same page about this. We know it's a problem. We've all been victims of it, but why can we not all get on the same page and um and just like stand up to this stuff and just like pound it into the dirt. They're even ripping off VRC. Yeah, they rip it. They have, they're ripping. They're ripping actual worlds from VRC. These are all worlds that I've been to. I've been to and this world. I've been to this world. Every single world there that you see, I've been to. 
And I can tell you, tell you with certainty that these worlds are not easy to make. Let me tell you, these worlds are, it's more a labor of love a lot of the time. Because a lot of time you don't get paid. Yeah. So, you know, when I see some jerk come in and he passes off all of this stuff as like his work or, you know, as something he's selling for profit. I mean, that's just not cool, and I'm not going to stand for that. Absolutely not. Same here, same here. So, consider this my first call-out video. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my first call-out video. I've yeah. never made one of these, and I don't like making this type of stuff, because usually when you have to make this kind of stuff, it's usually when things have gone too far, and just... I guess things have gone too far for me. Like, you know, it was an, it was always an annoyance. And now it's just gone over that line now that I found out about this thing. This dirty little thing going on here. Like, it's disgusting. It's honestly and, more disgusting. And it's like, I know you, I know the weebs hate the furries and the furries hate the weebs and the gamers hate the furries and all that shit. But, uh, I think as a as a community on VRC, we need to just band together, even if it's on this one thing, and just send these people packing. Anyway, I think I'm gonna finish the video up. I think yeah, I think we've ranted enough and kind of got the poison out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But seriously, guys, it's like, you know, I know we don't get along all the time. Yeah. I know the different groups, subgroups, subcultures, you know, but definitely, you know, let's work together on this and let's seriously try to put the brakes on intellectual property theft, art theft, and, you know, robbing people, essentially, it's basically what, on this platform. Uh, copyright. Because we want to grow. Like we want to grow as a community and we want everyone to to prosper here you know we want prosperity and you know opportunity yeah. we don't want some jerk coming in here with a gun sticking it in your face and saying give me all your stuff oh by the way i'm gonna resell all your stuff on this sketchy website that is completely illegal and blatantly fake <laughs> like in your face like strutting down the road saying hey look at my big illegal website i do everything illegal what look at all the illegal stuff i'm doing welcome to illegal site dot me it's like you know if he wants to be loud and proud about what he's doing then let's show him what we can do with the legal system and let's get him dmc8 and let's take care of business as a community and as a group that's my my take yeah. Well, I think I'm on the video here. Okay. Hope to see you, everybody. Safe out there in the peace. This is me out. <laughs>